Embed is a Golang based embedded programming framework which not only allows to quickly prototype solutions but also do serious development. Let me show you how. We'll create a simple LED blinker which will blink the onboard LED on the Raspberry Pi indefinitely. Well, until you kill the program that is. What we need to do is simply ask Embed to toggle the LED which is indicated by the parameter LED0. While the Raspberry Pi has a couple of LEDs, only one of them is easily controlled by software as the others are hardwired to show the power and Ethernet connection status. Apart from that, we need to tell Embed that we'll be running this program on a Raspberry Pi. We have taken this approach so that the resultant battery is not bloated because of compile and support for platforms we do not care about. The underscore in front of the import statement is a simple hint to the Go compiler to include the package in the compilation unit but not error out because we are not directly referencing it. We will also add a small delay of 200 milliseconds between each toggle so that we can actually see the LED blinking as the program runs. Now that the program is ready, let's get it running. We will issue a simple go build command to compile our program and produce a binary. The binary produces entirely self-contained and does not have any runtime dependencies. Let's have a quick look at the binary. Since we are on a Mac OS 10 system, we can use the Unix command file to introspect the produced binary. If you notice, the file command indicates that the binary is only suitable for running on a 64-bit x86 family processor, which unfortunately would be a showstopper for the Raspberry Pi and any other board based on the ARM architecture. However, if you have installed Go with the cross-compilation tools, you'll have the ability to easily create binaries which can run without issue on an ARM system. Cross-compiling with Go is easy. All you need to do is declare two environment variables, Go OS and Go Arch. Go OS indicates the target operating system, which in our case is Linux. Go Arch indicates, as you guessed it, the target architecture, which in our case is ARM. We will quickly run the file command again to see how things have changed. As you now see, the executable format is now ELF and it is capable of running on 32-bit ARM processors, something which is right up the Raspberry Pi's alley. Now we are going to run the program on real hardware. We will just secure copy the file across to the Raspberry Pi so that we can execute it there. Now that the file has been copied, we'll go ahead and run the program. We need to run the program with root privileges as we are controlling the hardware. As you might have already guessed, there is one flaw with our simple blinker. It will not clean up after itself. If you observe closely, when we terminate the program by pressing Ctrl plus C, the LED stays on if it was in the on state already. This is because we are not giving an opportunity for embed to clean up after itself. Let us quickly expand the program so that it cleans up after itself. We will simply wait for the appropriate signals from the operating system before we cleanly exit the program. But simply exiting cleanly is sometimes not enough. We will use a feature in Golang which allows you to defer execution of certain statements until cleanup time. Golang guarantees that they execute in the appropriate order so that there are no surprises. We will thus ask the LED to turn off and the LED subsystem to close cleanly before calling it a day. Running the new program on the Pi shows that we have achieved the required result. As you can see, we can terminate the program whenever we want and the LED stays off as the cleaner proteins are kicking in. Now comes the fun part. We will write a small detection routine which will allow us to dynamically pick the LED to blink based on which host we are running on. This method simply asks Embed to detect the host and based on that information it decides between LED 0 for the Pi and USR 3 for the BeagleBoard Black. USR 3 is one of the user controlled LEDs on the BBB. One important change is now we need to include support for the BBB. We could add another line similar to the one we had added for the RPI, but Embed provides a convenience package called All, which would come handy during prototyping. Compiling and running on the RPI shows that we did not break anything with our changes so far. The LED still blinks away to glory until we command it to stop with the solid control C. We will now copy the exact same binary to the BeagleBone Black. No changes to the source code, no need for recompilation. Secure copying the binary to the BBB is always enough. As you can see, we copied the binary which was running a moment ago on the RPI, 
to the beagle bone black and now we have the same LED blinking functionality without having to change any application code. How cool is that? Just like we included support for the required host by the means of a side effect code, you could do the same for a custom board of your choice by writing just enough blue code to help Embed understand the specifics of its host. The rest of your application code would not have to change. The time save could be a critical factor in your go-to-market strategy. So that's Embed. Hope you enjoy using it for your next hardware project.